Hello everyone, it's Sysclops, and I'm back yet again, this time playing Simple Life 2. Brand new pack, brand new pack smell. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a fun pack, and we're going to get to it. It is a 110 pack. It is not hard. Um, I think it's, you would kind of call it moderate level, me medium level. It's uh, not easy. You know what I mean? There's custom recipes. Ooh, I want to keep that. Why would I chuck any of that? Uh, <laughs> it is a medium level pack, I would guess. It, you know, custom recipes. Uh... Kind of custom flow, the configs, that's what I'm talking about, custom configs, and, uh, it's, it's, it, it, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be easy, I think, uh, it's going to be just medium, you know what I mean, because I think this is going to be a good starter pack for people, because I don't think easy packs are really good for people, but, uh, you know, those kitchen sink ones, I mean, unless you get an idea and a feel for a mod, but without any driving force, it's not that great, I don't find, uh, a pack like this, though, I think is a great starter pack, um, it's actually made for community. I think they're called the Simpletons. Yeah, they're definitely called Simpletons. And uh, it's a bunch of guys, I think it's streamers and YouTubers that kind of play together. And uh, I'm not playing with them. Um, I, I'm not part of the group, right? Uh, I probably would have, you know, but it uh, doesn't matter. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a pack for their community. So that's kind of the way it works. That's the way it goes. But uh, I'm playing it nonetheless. They can't stop me. No, they. I talked to them and I, I think they encourage it. They want people to play their pack, right? They don't want people to not play the pack, right? You don't make a pack, so no one plays it. Uh, but this is going to be my chill pack. This is going to be my relaxed pack. Uh, I've been playing a lot of hard packs lately. You might have noticed. And uh, I want something that I can play on the side, because I'm still going to play my main pack, uh, which is, you know, Divine Journey. But um, I need something chill, because I'm getting <laughs> burnt out. You know what I mean? Just too many hard packs that are long stretch. There haven't been... Like, I've been waiting for a 112 kitchen sink pack. Like, something that isn't unstable or something else. Something else, you know what I mean? Something with a little more flavor. And uh, none have come. It's kind of slow going, the progression for uh, all the mods that get upgraded to uh, 112. Let's take a little bit of time. And, uh, yeah, until that happens and we get a decent kitchen sink pack, I just, I need something chill for 112. Uh, I mean, for 110, because this is 110. Just, why am I babbling? Why do I talk sometimes? I don't know. Uh, but there's all kind of mods here. Uh, we've got uh, Animania here, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we've got uh, Astral Sau Saucery. I'm going to say Saucery. I'm going to say it every time to the drive people nuts. Because the one that was in Nuts and Bolts Torque, uh, people used to <laughs> get pretty riled up at me. Anyway, Astral Saucery. Anyway, uh, we got Batania. The two main tech uh, mods in the pack are Ender.io and uh, Immersive Engineering. So that's kind of the route we're going there. I'm going to head over to that altar. Um, they're the main ones. And uh, there isn't a lot else for tech. So that's kind of your tech. And your main magic are the two I already mentioned. So uh, then there's all kind of other mods there kind of supporting. There's an add-on here for uh, uh, immersive, for, uh, the petroleum one. So I'm going to be definitely be doing the petroleum. Um, I'm going to be using this pack as just kind of full round, try some new stuff. And uh, do some new things, because there are some other mods in here that I haven't played with before. I saw, like, mo uh, mob totems and stuff like that. And uh, even Astral, I played with it a bit. But uh, I kind of just did what I had to for the pack that I was playing at the time. I hadn't did I hadn't did a ton. <laughs> there's some good English for you. Anyway, uh, it is a quest pack, so there's all kinds of quests in here. So we'll be hitting them. I already grabbed a couple, but I'm kind of just... Getting in here. We only have so much time before night. I can't see if there's a mob in here, but we'll find out. Nope, we're good. We've got two chests in here. And yeah, there's usually these bigger altars. There's almost always chests in them, so it's good to check them. And those should give me stuff. Yeah. There we go. And this should might give me more. There we go. And they'll give us constellations. We don't need to worry about those constellations now. Or even this crystal right now. Uh, they'll be important later on. I need something to get out of here. I have... I did not really plan this out. <laughs> let's do that. And let's get out of here real quick. There we go. Anyway, I'm just going to wander around for a bit. I'm going to do my typical, you know, punching trees first episode. I, <laughs> it's always something I do. Let's take a look at the quest book really quick, though. Uh, this main quest line here, so you can see here there's 18 of them. 18 quest lines. Uh, but this main one kind of just unlocks other tabs. It doesn't unlock all of them, but it unlocks some of them. So this one is just kind of freebie. You get a diamond. It's very simple to get going with, and you get stuck, hover over the element, see a tooltip, etc., etc. So it's just telling you how to go. 
about your things. I think this one was for the yeah table to refine them. This is gonna give us a whole bunch of free tinker stuff, which is kind of cool. What was this one for making a chest? Uh, and we get a common loot bag. Here we go. And these are all unlocking tabs here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is the astral sorcery one. It's going to give us our journal, journal actually, which is really cool because I needed that. Go here, here, and I think here. Where is it here? There we go. If you shift from right click with this thing, you can stick your constellations in there, which is kind of cool. Right? Can you go away? There we go. I don't know why I did that. Uh, did I just get another quest? <laughs> Starlight. Nope. Yes, apparently I did. What did I get here? In my journal. I guess we get a free loot bag just for showing up. Here it wants us to make a drawer. Let's see here. Anything else? Kind of just throwing stuff at us. I mean, it's the start of these packs. It's usually like this. You're just getting quests. <laughs> it seems for the sake of doing things that you would have done otherwise. Uh, looks like we got another altar there. One of the smaller ones. That one will just have a chest under one of the pillars. Something I should mention too is uh, all the world gen. There is no regular stone. Uh, you may saw, find some in you know spawns and villages and stuff like that. Uh, but you will never find it underground, I don't think. Um, <laughs> it's got a, yeah, there's no regular world, world, uh, world gen of stone. I, 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 did I just say there's no regular world gen? Because if so, that's brilliant. Uh, yeah, there's no stone in the, in the world. So no stone or cobble. Um, you actually have to, you can get it just fine. But there's a, what's called underground biomes, I think is the mod. It takes it all and changes it all into different varieties. So there's a whole bunch of different varieties. Gives it a whole bunch of flavor, you know what I mean? Kind of a different feel. You can kind of the idea there. I would love to find some clay. That would be cool. Something I always look for at starter packs. It should be in World Gen. Uh, I see stuff I don't there. I would like some flint. Because I would like to build the porter. Porter? No, the portal to the uh, Roma dimension. Uh, the mining dimension, I guess. There we go. Which means we will need a flint. We already got an iron, so we're good there. Oh, we can see some of that custom stone down here. Yeah, Janice? <laughs> I have no idea. And if it breaks into that cobblestone form, it means it can be turned into stone. So that's pretty cool. So we'll be doing that. Take that out. Bam. And you guys should check out those uh, simpleton guys. Uh, I think you could probably see it. I think... I, oh. oh, you're the last thing I want to fight right now. Uh, <laughs> Stop that. Let me heal up first. I need some gin. I'm going to be dealing with you. These guys do knockback. They don't have knockback is what I should say. Can you guys stay there? Okay. I think they nerfed these guys a bit. They used to do more damage than that. He shot after he was, uh, you know, <laughs> not a problem anymore. Which, uh, kind of trolly. Anyway. Gonna grab some of this real quick and some of the stone because I'd like to get us at least a stone pick. That sounds like it would be quite beneficial. There we go. And uh, I think we need to smelt some stone up anyway to uh, make. I should make sure I have a stepping way out just in case some mobs come. Um, sm smelt some stone up to be able to make the portal because I think you need bricks if I remember correctly. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is gonna be the chill pack. Um, I'm going to take this one a little slower. I'm not going to rush. Um, I'm not going to push for progression quite as much. I'm just going to kind of follow the quest book. And I'm going to explore the mods a little more. So things I haven't used before, stuff like that, I'm going to try using. I'm going to try to figure it out. And just kind of do it that way. Just a little more chill. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, I push progression. <laughs> just in my nature. I've tried not to in the past. And I just always want to, just, I want to progress. I want to progress. Then I, I said, you know, points for myself where I'm just like, we're going to get to this point and we're going to do this and we're going to do that and it's going to be wonderful. And uh, yeah, I just keep my brain. It's just the way it works. Nothing I can do about it. There we go. Except for maybe fix my brain. You guys want to fix my brain? That would be great. Yeah, throw that there. I guess we're going to make ourselves a proper pick. Really quick. There we go. Bam. There we go. And I did see that Tinker's was uh, tweaked a little bit. So this stone's actually pretty cool. I like this cobble. Oh, you're, you you aren't my friend, sir. 
I gotta get a dap too, because I've been playing a pack while well, one point seven, so I'd have been ooh. Has that at it, the uh dismembering thing. Uh where you can <laughs> spam your sword in one point seven. Well you can't do that in one point ten. Although I have missed one point ten, I have to say. It's kind of become for the tech mods I prefer it. Uh for the magic mods I prefer uh one point seven. I guess that's the way it's gonna go. It is nighttime. I did not make a bed. I'm not that worried though, so it's kinda gonna get this stuff, get that. What did we get there? Some grapefruit soda? Does that count as food? It does. It gives us three seconds of speed like it matters. There we go. I'm gonna eat that. I don't want raw mutton. I do want to do this. So let's cook that up. Get that out of the way. Then I can eat it and it'll be gone. I won't have to worry about it anymore. Um, I got my flint. I got my iron. So we should be able to do this and this and make that. Then we're gonna have to smelt up a bunch of stone. So I'm gonna start those two. Probably dig up a few more. What do I got in these? Anything good? Nope. Nothing good. Okay. Guess we'll grab you. And yeah, there's no vein miner in the pack, so none of those comments. Why don't you use vein miner? Or there'll be ten comments going, is there vein miner? No, it's a chill pack. There's no vein miner. We don't put vein miner in chill packs. Chill packs. <laughs> there we go. Which I actually prefer, unless it's a pack. I find a lot of packs that vein miner ends up in. It doesn't belong in. I think it belongs in packs that are, you know, Skyblock. It fits it. It just kind of fits it. Ooh. That is for, that is that little symbol, the boat, is uh, Mine Colonies. Mine Colonies is in here, so kind of forgot that was in here. I knew, because uh, I went through the list, because I tried to, you know, see the ones that I recognize and the ones I don't. Uh, let's throw those in there. But uh, anyway, it's in here. We'll be able to play with that a little bit. Get it figured out. I probably should have moved into the cave a little further. Uh, not that big a deal. So early on, we're going to need a good amount of this. I haven't looked at patterns yet. I think paper was different in this. Let's see here. Pattern. Paper. Yeah. Because I loaded up the pack for about, uh, it was only about, I don't know, probably about 30 minutes. Looked at some of the recipes. Got a feel for it. I was like, yeah, this is my chill pack. Because there's really nothing else out there right now, to be honest, that I was interested in at all. Here, did I fill this? I can't remember. Oops, I don't know. We'll even know what I'm doing. No, I haven't filled this yet. Let's grab that. Grab that. That, that. Anything else we need here? Probably our wood. And that should be it. I saw that we need a storage drawer, so let's make one of those real quick. Do that. Here we go. This is not how you make a storage drawer. There we go. That is, though. So that should be able to handle that. There we go. I think that's going to give us one. Storage solutions. I thought that was it. I probably should have looked a little closer. Oh, it wants two. Okay. Do I have enough wood? I do. While the stone's smelting up, we might as well get this done. Oh, I have to make it a chest first, so I'll probably do that. Then that. And do that. There we go. And, um, what is it? Uh, this one here. Find storage is in here, so that's pretty cool. Be able to use that instead of AE, because the last two packs have used AE. And it's nice to have a change. There we go. And we're doing pretty good. Pretty good here. How much don't we got? 12. Yeah, I guess we could start the process, so let's get this going. That'll give us, what, eight of these. We can go to mining. Grab our tool. Oh, we need a stone pickaxe. That's a problem. Uh, no, it's not. There we go. Thought I didn't have any left. I'd probably put my sticks in here or I'm out. Nope. We're good. Put that here. Put that there. Maybe pull that across there. Do that. And we got a mining tool. Perfect. And we could start making the, uh, the bricks, right? So we don't need a ton. I think I usually use about 14. I don't think you need to use 14. I think you do it with about, what is it? One, two, three, four. I think you can do it with eight, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't like doing it that way. Anyway, let's do that. Get you there. Oh, it needs to be bricks. Try doing the light. Right, there we go. There we go. And there. We should have everything we need. 
I don't know if there's any mobs up here. Of course there is. Oh, oh okay. I guess the confetti mob. Uh, I keep saying mob. I keep doing that in every pack, too. I, for some reason, whenever I want to say uh, mod, I say mob. Anyway, uh, it has the confetti uh, mod in here. So they aren't going to damage your world, which is nice, I guess. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, that's for sure. Uh, I think that actually works. You know what? I'm going to end up moving this anyway. So this is kind of, I want to go see what the, uh, the reason I'm rushing this for is to go and see what this is like. Because the world gen for the mining dimension can be tweaked in a whole bunch of different ways. And I'm kind of curious because if it's a cave, it's, you know, okay. You know what I mean? It's not as good. If it's the flat world one with the grass, that's the best one. Uh, if it's the stone top one, that one's not too bad. There's also the one where it goes all the way up to the ceiling. So I guess we'll see here. I'm gonna just hit shift on that. Bam. I just right clicked the tool to the activate to portable. You just gotta keep that tool if you wanna move it around. And this might be one of the cave ones because we are at Y67. And yeah, underground. So this might be one of the cave ones. Okay. Which is okay, but not as good. Do a quick look around, then we're gonna leave. Kinda get a feel. What is that? Is that dirt? That's all dirt. This uh cave gen is really weird having uh all this not be stone, you know what I mean? It's just a little off. A little strange. Not used to it yet. Let's do that and do that. Take a look here. We do not have many torches, but I would like to take a little bit of a look. Mobs are on. That is another thing I wanted to check. And, uh, yeah, we would have to go down deeper to be able to get a good amount of resources. Uh, hey, how you doing? You're probably going to blow up. Nope. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a festival. Just do a quick look. Oh, this is going down pretty good. Oh, but it's dead end. I'm seeing iron stuff. I'm just getting an idea of what kind of resources are here. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot that adds uh, ores to the pack, so we could probably actually just check the ores. Um, gold, iron, coal, lapis, diamond, redstone, emerald, nickel, lead, copper, cold iron. I don't know what that is. Adamite, which doesn't end up used in most packs. Same zinc. Zinc gets no love. No one ever wants to use zinc. Or... Star metal, I've only seen that used in like one pack so far. Silver. Bauxite. All the other versions from uh, Immersive. And the nether ones are in here. So the nether metals. And yeah. Oh, they have fluid storage for refined storage now? I did not know that. Huh. They didn't have that last time I used it. Anyway. Magnesium, that's another one that rarely gets love. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what was here, what it was like. And uh, in between episodes, I'll be coming, you know, in here doing some mining. Because it's just easier than, you know, digging up in the real world, right? You just come here, you have this little pocket dimension. You don't care what the countryside looks like. You don't have to worry about any of that. You just dig all willy-nilly and do as you please. So it's a nice little place to just, you know, and I can bring the portal with me. <laughs> it's portable. <laughs> Anyway, it's almost morning. We survived. Where's my... I was going to say, I thought I lost my stuff for a second. We do not have a bunch of mobs around here. Let's take a look at the quest book really quick. And see if there's anything we can get to. Let's see here. We did get this one, so we could pick one. Uh, some of them will have this little arrow too. It could be here too. Sometimes there's multiple, more than one tab of, ch of chest objectives. You can check over here. These ones here, sometimes there's a second tab of rewards. So this one has a second tab where we can make a choice. I think I'm going to take the supply ship chest. That sounds cool. And uh, we'll set that up later on. We're going to do the whole mine colony thing, I think. Uh, what's this one? Clay bucket, paper, and sticks. Well, what's that one for? Gadgets and gizmos. Okay. This kind of idea, an immersive hammer. We actually might be able to do that one now. Let's see here. Oh, what is that hammer called? Hammer, is it engineers? 
Yes, I see it right there. There we go. Uh, we actually should have everything for that. Let's see here. Iron. We'll need a couple more sticks. So hopefully I have a piece of wood. <laughs> Let's see here. Do I have no wood left? Oh, I have some wood right there. There we go. And I thought I got string, didn't I? I haven't got string yet. So I guess we need a piece of string first. Guess we'll wait on that one. Take a look here. Block quartz ain't bad. Uh, this early. Constantine. Dawnstone. That's actually a pretty good reward right there. Uh, block of copper. Stack that and grab that. There we go. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to eat this. Let's get it out of my inventory. And take a look at a, anything else here. So this is the mob totem one. So I don't know what that is. So let's go to at mob totem. Not mod. Mob totem. Oh, that's mob grinding. Totem wood. Totemic focus. Not a lot here on this, is there? I have no idea how this works. I'm actually going to have to look this one up. I have no idea. <laughs> gunpowder and a feather. Feather, gunpowder. I can make the, uh, the focus, I think. There we go. What is this thing? <laughs> What's this thing do? What? <laughs> what is this? I have no idea. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to look that up. I have no idea what that is. Okay. It's cool, though. I mean, it looks neat. So we're showing hoppers. So we do have mob, gr mob grinding utilities, which is nice to know. Which will probably be uh, in that uh, tab that sets the about controlling mobs. Uh, what else we got here? I'm looking for a quest book because I've been playing that other pack. Let's come here. I guess we get an uncommon loot bag. See if we get anything. Let's get rid of you. I really don't. I'll keep the Dawnstone Nuggets, though. Embers is in the pack, obviously. Whole bunch of Glowstone. Holy moly. And I don't know what else to do right now. So <laughs> I would like to at least make a Tigger Stool. So clay. Did I get clay yet? No. Is there clay here? No. It is not the right kind of river bud. That is. That's awesome so i just need three to get started then i'm probably gonna you know make a tool and clear this out between videos because that's a good amount of clay there enough to get us started there we go we'll make ourselves a bucket grab a bucket of water then we should be able to make some paper we go where was that clay did i not have room for it is that what happened boy you know okay we're just gonna make ourselves a bucket real quick grab that i'm gonna throw that out there bam and just let that smelt up for a second. And then, uh, what was it? Let's go back to uh, pattern. I can't remember the actual recipe. Here we go. So I want a paper, wood, and a bucket of water, right? Yes, okay. I am going to have to grab a log as well then. Because I do not think I have any. Let's grab this. There we go. And a bucket. I'm in desperate need of more inventory space. Although it was nice to get a, uh, what should we call it this early, uh, ender pearl. That's pretty sweet. Here we go. Let's, uh, that. What was it? Pattern. Paper. Oh, bone meal. That was the other thing. There we go. Guess we're doing that. 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 And that. There gives us that. What? Why did it put that in there? <laughs> that was really odd. Oh, it ate the bucket too. That's dirty pool right there, I tell ya. Anyway, let's grab, I guess six of those. Sounds like a good start. Let's grab all of our tables. There we go. Oh, I guess we can only grab so many. Oh, let's put that back one. It's gonna dry me. Here we go. <laughs> Apparently we're getting a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, aroma, that must be for the portal that I made. <laughs> Gave me two for that, apparently, because I jumped the gun. There we go. Let's throw that up there. Anything else? Get a chest. I'm going to put the chest down temporarily. There we go. And clear that out. There we go. What do we got here? A pattern chest. That's fantastic. What is this one? That's the part builder. 
Uh, we need the stencil. Let's grab that. Bam. We'll want this, and we will want a shovel head, and we will want a axe head, and we will want a tool rod, and we will want a binding. There we go. Uh, we are going to need some cobble, which I think I used it all, so we're going to have to grab some more really quick. There we go. Once we have a couple pieces, I just need like four pieces, I guess, then I can actually make a uh, tool. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Wrong table. Part builder. I'm gonna put you up there. Uh, we're gonna craft you into cobble. There we go. I'm gonna put you in here. Give us that. Uh, we'd also want this. It's gonna take two per. I want to make a manic too. That's the second one I'm making. Uh, I need some stone. No, not stone. Wood. I do have some wood. There we go. Let's make ourselves a tool rod there we go because we don't have a lot of materials right now but these ones will work quite well and a binding there we go I guess we'll leave that in and I'll actually need a second tool rod anyway so let's make it now pull that out and what's the last one we need an axe head but I don't have enough cobble right did I have any at all nope okay um, there is a way to convert it though, so let's just do that. Let's come here. Let's go here. I want to go to chisel. There we go. And I think we can use this. I don't want tiger sticks. Oh, those are tool rods. I need regular sticks. I must have a piece of wood left. Yes, I do. Okay. Well, let's grab that. Let's go there. Let's make a chisel. I think this can convert that, uh, this stuff here the Janice. There we go. So we go here, go to... But that's not going to make cobble. The easiest way to make cobble would be just do this, wouldn't it? I could just go, hey, I need a piece of cobble, because I literally just need one right now. There we go. Did all that for nothing, but that is a quest too, actually. But uh, we'll do that in a second. Grab that. Gonna go to here. Then we can actually make a pick. There's one. Bam. And then we're going to make the matic as well. And that'll handle our early tools, right? And we can level these up. Uh, the leveling is in here and the part swapping. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to make the other chisel real quick too. Because I know it's a quest. Then we'll trade in all our quests. And that'll probably pretty much do it for today. What do we need here? A piece of cobblestone. Of course it's cobblestone. Let's put you here. Bam. Let's get rid of you. <laughs> that's how I feel about you now. Here we go. And it was just a uh, wrong table. Right here. Grab other chisel. I think that's a quest. Yes, awesome. So let's go take a look at all the quests here. Uh, I'm not looking for a quest book. There we go. So we got, what did we get? Two loot bags. That's pretty cool. And that one is going to unlock this one. So the enter stuff, chest transformer, uh, transporter. Aroma? <laughs> I guess it would have gave us like, a bunch more extra portal frames, which is kind of funny. Uh, what else did we unlock here? Nothing. There was a bunch of quests here. We got materials in you, which is kind of cool. Uh, we got the loot bag for our patterns. We got another loot bag for our parts. And what is that? Just a pickaxe. Boom. Every tool forge, unlock new types of tools. Parts can also be replaced, a so wooden pickaxe. Just telling us that the parts can be swapped out. And this one apparently has the second one. I'm going to grab the diamond. There we go. Pretty cool. And I guess we unlocked two more uncommon loot bags. Which also gives us grand designs, which is going to be a tab. This is going to be all for aesthetic stuff. So there's chisel bits. There's the saw. Uh, chisel architecture craft. Deco craft. What is that one? Oh, that's deco craft. Uh, another part of architecture. Even more chiseling. Yeah, all cool stuff. But that's pretty cool. We did. That was creepy, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> I saw one more quest there. Let's grab it. Bam. Holy moly. <laughs> Too much stuff. There we go. Fill that stuff there real quick. And I don't even think I can open up all these things, to be honest. We're going to try, though. 
figured we at least try to get them opened up. I don't see the point to leveling up the uh, bags, the higher ones yet, because I still need the low resources. So uh, these uncommon ones will be fine for me. Like nickel. I can use all that. Nickel. This rain. Oh, it's going a little heavy on the nickel now, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's nickel happy. Okay. Anyway, we got lots of nickel. <laughs> some flint, some gunpowder, and some more nickel. What is this total troll? Can you get off me? Anyway, and okay, I think I'm going to end this one here. I think this is going to be a pretty fun pack. I'm glad I picked this one. Um, it's going to be really chill. Um, I'm going to do almost no progression in between videos. Maybe a little bit of mining, and that's about it. Um, and I'm going to build myself a house. Just a little tiny, tiny starter house. It's really going to be small this time. Just the starter house. Just small. It's not going to be giant. <laughs> <laughs> just a little small thing anyway i'm gonna end this here so as always if you guys like this video please hit that like button if you really liked it hit that subscribe button it's much appreciated well you guys all have a good one i'll see you guys next video later